Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen our other videos, please check them out as this will give you a better understanding of how we got to where we are today. But a quick recap, we bought an incomplete Sea Lion SC35 shell that was sold when Sea Lion went into liquidation in 2013. The boat left the factory as a bare shell and a subsequent owner fitted engines and stern drives, but was unable to complete the project. We bought the boat on eBay in 2017 and set about completely overhauling and fitting out the boat. So far we have removed the engines, fitted engine bay mouldings, fitted aft cabin bed mouldings, fitted a new floor and moulded a new forward cabin bed module which we will be trimming into place today. Okay guys, back on the boat this morning and the epoxy coating that we put on the floor last time that's now set up so we can walk on this and it's also nice and water resistant as well and we've put some temporary boards in here in the middle so we've just got a nice flat working area so this is a lot nicer than keep having to uh, hop over stringers and stuff a lot safer as well so that's really good and uh, so the job first job for today is to have a look and see if we can get this bed module in place now so we're going to lay in the centerpiece here and then we've got the two sides that we've molded before in previous videos and there's some cuts that we're going to have to make on there so for instance we know that there's a cut that we're going to have to make down here and there's also some cuts to make around the stringers either side on that side as well and then what we'll have to do is prep the top of the module ready for it to be glassed onto the hull so let's get straight to work So the right hand side of the bed module is now in just got it propped in place here with these little props and we just had to make a few cuts so one down here so we've scribed it to the stringer there and then we also had to just cut a little notch out just here just where the hull layup was just a little bit thicker just here for some reason so we've just had to notch that bit out just to let that go back to the hull so that looks fairly good now so i think what we'll do next is see if we can get the left hand side of the bed module in place and see how that fits. Okay, so left hand side of the bed module in place. And uh, what we've realized is that we actually need to cut this piece away here so that this will set back on the hull. You can see there's a, there's a gap back here, uh, which means basically we might as well just remove all of this here. So this is just the original plug, which would have formed the bottom of the, of the wardrobe. So we'll, we'll remanufacture this all anyway in uh, lightweight ply. So I think the plan is to get this cut out here and get this cut out down here and then get this all off the back here and then that'll allow this to push back against the hull so let's do that
So we've removed the factory plug for underneath the wardrobe. So, and give that all a bit of a clean. That was a bit tougher to get out than we thought, actually. That was, uh, that was quite tricky, but out now. So what we're gonna do now is offer in the left-hand bed module again, and then just see what cuts or trimming we need to do down this side. So next we need to fit the center section of the bed module. But before we do that, we need to give the module a quick sand and trim in the workshop before we take it onto the boat for final adjustment. So back on the boat this morning and we've been just tweaking this bed module a little bit now so we've got all the cuts uh, made down the sides and trimmed and we've now got a nice consistent tight gap down the bottom here where the module hits the floor or rests on the floor so that's perfect and uh, we've also uh, took a measurement on the inclinometer uh, when the factory plug was in place and we've got the same reading on the inclinometer here that we had when the plug was in place. So we know that this is sitting where it needs to be. So really happy with that. And we've got a nice fit here now on the side of the hull and over this side. And we're just using wedges here just to lift this side up and just get it in exactly the right position. And we've actually got some datum marks here. So these are datum marks taken from the original factory plug down onto the plug itself and these are now all within one or two millimeters so very very close and we can use these wedges just to tweak it a little bit when we come to bond it and that will be absolutely spot on so i'll just show you inside the bed so we've got at the front here we've got the chain locker so we are going to have to do some work on this you can see where we've got the joint here so we can bolt through these flanges that we put onto these parts and then we'll need to put in a vertical support uh, and then a flat bottom 
for the bottom of the chain locker. So I think that's going to be the next job. And then I'll just show you in the front and side. So we're sitting nicely on the floor here. It means we can tab over now onto this stringer and this will make this really nice and strong. And then we've also got these flanges here where we can bolt through with some stainless steel bolts and epoxy bond that and that will be nice and strong as well. We are just sitting slightly high here on this part on the side module. So what we need to do is just shave a little bit off the bottom of this flange here and then hopefully this should, should drop down and we'll get this perfect. So yeah, really happy with the way that that's turned out. So I think the next job is to have a look at the chain locker. So we're gonna, we are gonna cut, I can't know if I can get this on video, but we are gonna cut a section out here and then we're gonna put a vertical support that will go all the way along here out of ply and then we'll put a, a flat bottom in as well. So we're just gonna cut those pieces now and Richard's gonna cut a section out of here so that we can make a bridge on that vertical support so it will run all the way through and then that will all get bonded together we'll glass it um, and then glass the top of this as well sort of four or five layers of glass on the bottom of the chain locker maybe more uh, and then we'll come in and flow coat it so that will make it nice and watertight and that's pretty much how the factory boat would have been done i know we do get some questions about using composite materials and it is something we've looked at um, we've looked at something like the polypropylene honeycomb centre uh, material, which looks great, lightweight, strong, but we're just worried it doesn't have the impact resistance. This is going to be taking a heavy chain in here that's going to be dropped down, and that polypropylene, it can actually, uh, you can actually puncture it if you're not careful. So, whereas plywood has a really good impact resistance, especially once it's been laminated. So we're going to go the more traditional route. As I say, that's pretty much how the factory would have done it anyway. So uh, we're going to stick with that philosophy. OK, so let's make the cuts on here and uh, Richard will make the cuts on the flange. So this is the vertical support that goes in front of the bed module. So this sits vertically like so. And we've put out some slots here so that the flanges that bolt the two sides together can actually slide through those. And then we can bolt them the other side. And then what we've done is just rounded over these edges so that we can laminate this with some 450 chop strand mat and some polyester resin. So that'll, that'll give it some water protection. And the plan is just to do a final test fit now, and then we'll just tab this into place so that we know exactly where it sits, and then we can pull, pull the bed module out and work on the anchor locker. Okay, guys, so back on the boat, and back at the anchor locker here. So just doing a test fit. 
on the piece of ply that we've just cut and that fits nicely in there. And then Richard's come in here and just sanded all the hull with some 36 grit sandpaper. So that means that we can then tab this to the hull. So next stage is to laminate this piece of plywood so then we can get it tabbed into place. Okay, so we've tabbed in the upright in the chain locker. Fortunately, we couldn't film this because it's just too tight. But yeah, you can see the tabbing down there on the uh, on both sides. So we're just going to let that set up now. But that that will be give us a nice temporary fix, and then we can put more tabbing uh, up the top and also on the front side once we've taken the bed module out. So. That's going to be a wrap for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you like the content, then please subscribe as that helps the uh, YouTube algorithm. And we'll see you on the next one.